all mourners, honorable members of parliament, all mourners in your respective capacities. First and foremost, permit me on behalf of government and more specifically to harm the legislative harm of government under the leadership of the Right Honourable Speaker and the executive harm under His Excellency the President to continue conveying our deep condolences to Muse Lamek Ogwal, the people of Dokolo, the people of Lango, the people of Uganda, including the Forum for Democratic Change, where the late belonged until she passed on upon her demise. Fellow mourners, mine will be more informative. First and foremost, let me convey the apology of the Right Honorable Speaker, who chairs the Central Organizing Committee for purposes of organizing a decent send-off of the Honorable Atat Cecilia. Secondly, you will allow me to inform you that this morning the program for the burial of the Honorable Atat had to be amended because in response to the request made by the family and members of Lango Parliamentary Group that was forwarded to His Excellency the President, we got calls this morning with directives. So the program had to be amended. Tomorrow, at exactly 10 minutes past 2 p.m., we expect the casket carrying the remains of the Honorable Atat to touch the Ugandan soil at Entebbe International Airport aboard Emirates. The body will be received and we shall have a night vigil here at home, contrary to the earlier program. This came about because His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda, the National Chairperson of the National Resistance Movement, and the elder brother to the Honorable Atat Cecilia directed that in addition to what the law states in very clear terms that if a serving member of parliament passes on, he or she is entitled to an official burial. His Excellency the President, in response to the request, further directed that the body of the Honorable Cecilia Attach, in addition to all the package for an official burial, will lie in state for a vigil at the parliament building. And for those who know, you know that when your body lies in state, that particular barrio is heading towards the first class barrio of any citizen. Secondly, his Excellency the President will have an opportunity to pay his last respect to his sister. They kept calling themselves my big brother, my young sister. That is how they would call themselves. He will have an opportunity to pay his last respect to his sister, the Honorable Attack Cecilia, at the Parliament building when the body is lying in state. Thirdly, he directed that in honor of the contribution and the services rendered by the Honorable Attack at the burial place in Kone District, Attack will be accorded gun salute. So that is the additional package. 
I can confidently say that the burial of a tat will be a hybrid burial. An official burial, but heading towards a state burial. So that is the package added by His Excellency the President. I do not want to deal deeper into my relationship with Honorable Atat. But let me briefly say, at a personal level, I met with Honorable Atat at the age of 14. That was in 1994, when I had the opportunity to represent the children of Northern Uganda in the parliamentary mock debate for the promulgation of the 1995 constitution. You know, I'm going to go to That was 1994, when I met her. I came as a young man, but we had debated also in the north, and I got an opportunity. And here I am today. That is now history. Around 2002, 2003, when I was a national youth leader in the youth council structure, at the same time leading the youth of the greater Lira district, Atat called me and uh, persuaded me because she had persuaded all the other youth to join Uganda People's Congress then. And I think I was the only youth leader that did not yield to her request. But later on I told her why, and that is not for today. But all the other youth leaders, the two we had in council with Honorable Franco Jur here, we are all members of Uganda People's Congress. I was the only one who was not persuaded by Honorable Atat. That is history. The other third moment is when we had a meeting, Honorable Amongi is here, Honorable Kotogong is here, and others who attended. When we had a meeting on the land question with His Excellency the President in uh, Rocketora and the role played by Atat, by that meeting, we came in as a result of our group tour to Otuke, where there was a land conflict that led to the death of uh, a clan leader. Then eventually it culminated into a meeting with His Excellency the President. Those are four moments that given an opportunity, I will have to give my testimonies on those four fronts. But for now, let me just highlight them. Finally, fellow mourners. As political actors, the late attack died a politician. One fundamental thing that we must always ask, because I believe that even as politicians, we are Christians. And when we swear in, we use both the Bible and the Constitution. But for swearing in specifically, you only use either the Bible or the Quran. And I don't think the content of the Bible should just be there for us to raise it up and say, I swear in the... You must read and practice what the Bible says. Because in life, there is no situation that does not have an answer in the Bible. A story is told. When Jesus was confronted by a lawyer, and I see lawyers here, Kire Ulokwe Rejiton, Muru Pirida, a lawyer confronted Jesus and asked, What must I do in order to inherit the kingdom of God? This is what gave rise to the summary of the law. But to me, the most fundamental thing that I normally take out of that interaction between Jesus and the lawyer is the question that Jesus posed back to the lawyer. And Jesus said, but what does the law say? You lawyer asking me, what must I do in order to inherit the kingdom of God? Jesus asked, but what does the law say? To me, that is the most important thing. In all that we do, what does the law say? 
I want to respond. And my response will be a humble advice. I may not have the latitude of putting a final say on the request by the Forum for Democratic Change. But in the spirit of the response of Jesus to the lawyer, what does the law say? Let me advise as follows. And my advice, you can take it or leave it. The choice is yours. But it may not be far from what you will also get from the final and ultimate authority. But kindly accept it. One, when a serving member of parliament passes on, he or she, as I stated, is entitled to an official body. Implying the state of Uganda, the government of Uganda, has taken over that body. The casket containing the remains of that member of parliament is wrapped in black, yellow, red, the national colors of the Republic of Uganda. In the same spirit of what Jesus answered to the lawyer, because we are not inventing a will. I have been in parliament for some time. I came to parliament, I was the second youngest, for clarity, at the age of 25. And I have been there up to now by the grace of God. The last member of parliament to die before Honorable Cecilia Wall was a minister and a colonel in the army and a member of the National Resistance Movement. Before his death, the country had lost the right honorable Jacob Olanya, the Speaker of the Parliament of the Republic of Uganda. All of them were serving members of Parliament. What is the practice? What is the precedent? For the time I've been in Parliament, there is no serving member of Parliament belonging to a political party who passes on while in service and his or her body goes to the headquarters of the political party where he or she belonged, including that of Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, who belonged to the NRM, that of the late Honorable Colonel Charles Okelingwala Makidwogo, that belonged to NRM. So in a nutshell, accept my advice, as bitter as it may be, but that is the practice. You have been in Parliament, you know. The body will leave home, go to Parliament, after Parliament, go to church, after church. The journey to the final destination via Dokolo, Lira, to Kole, will commence. Do not blame the messenger, I'm just the messenger. So do not blame the messenger, just carry the message. May the good Lord rest the soul of Honorable Atat Cecilia in eternal peace. For God and my country, God bless you all.